ancient curses infecting swimmers, pirate witches summoning sea monsters. Was this catastrophe the work of unnatural forces, or was it the result of corruption in the local police force? It was reported an estimated 200 people were slain and more were injured. This may sound like a fantasy, but last April, this legend became a reality in a Southern California town known as La Muerta. I just heard these sounds, and people started screaming, and tentacles came out of the water, and I, I didn't know what to do, I started running. And then, and then those beach cops pushed me into the water. Last thing I remember, there was tentacles, and I lost my eye. I was one match away from winning the Table Tennis World Championship. One match. How am I supposed to play now? I don't even know what depth perception was before. How am I supposed to know now? CAPS, they're not here to help us. They're here to f with you. La Muerta, a magical maritime arena for women and children of all ages. Who well, wasn't always that way? A couple years ago, the local cultist group PPP, also known as Pretty Pretty Butterflies, were seen summoning q to the consumer worlds off the coast of La Muerta. How could something so sinister happen, you ask? Well, the local law enforcement is the one to blame the CAPS, a group of arrogant cops known to own the hit series known as Beach Cops. CAPS have found inspiration in the hit Fox TV show known as Cops. In their version, they show explicit scenes of exploitation of the public. How could something so vile stay on the internet for so long without any repercussion? Yeah, we're the uh, Coastal and Aquatic Patrol Squad. We uh, keep the peace around here on the beaches a little more to a average drug inspection. Okay, all right, right here. here we it's a uh, pretty dangerous place out here. Hot spot for uh, supernatural activity, voodoo, the things of that nature. Back. The back. The so back. What? what? Oh, I knew it! I get knew the garden it. hose! Get the oh. garden hose! Get the garden, get the garden hose! I decided to join the most uh, kick ass uh, department uh, I could find, and that is the CAPS. Yeah! Ah. You're gonna earn oh. your shorts today, Rookie! Ah. Get his arms! You're gonna earn your shorts today! These guys are Stop. always dressing undercover. They think that these button-up shirts and wife beaters and the jorts that they wear I'm not wearing them of course because they said I couldn't earn them they said I had to slap some old lady or something I think that was a joke I don't know yeah you know uh, Ricky's a he's a good kid but he hasn't uh, he hasn't earned his jorts yet we're still working on that we're hoping today we're gonna we're gonna go around the forbidden zone he might earn his stripes earn his keep all right so we're uh, we're patrolling the perimeter of the forbidden zone it's a very popular cultist hotspot. Uh, sea witch might be around, so uh, don't, don't get picked up by her, cameraman. She'll sacrifice you. Uh, I knew it. I mean, I've been following this mailman for about a week now. I'm never wrong. I mean, speaks for itself. So he's all, he's all booked. This one's ready to go to the, the scum Help. station. Rookie, get out of here. The footage we are about to show you are the events that led up to the incident at La Muerta. There are scenes that will start our young children. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the forbidden zone, as you can see. The sea witch is actually somewhere down there. Hey! Hey! No, fuck, don't! Fuck the don't you dare! Don't you! No! Sarge, Sarge, Sarge! Come on! Come on! That's cold us! It's your shorts on the line! Get in that cave, private! Damn it! Oh, Jesus! Come on! Go around! Go around! Oh, my. my glasses, you dirty wet!
sea witch's tail, a tail that proved to be too tall to stand on. In a town of such danger, it seems odd that such inexperienced officers would be on duty. But this seems all too familiar. Day by day, officers abuse their power that we give them. And La Muerte is no exception. Let's take a stand against police brutality and hope that future officers choose to deliver justice and not tamper.